All right, we're going to show you Big Mike and Logan Paul. This is going to be good, okay? We you want to see this stuff? Uh, there's simp stuff. And what did I tell you? I said, Mike's going to show Logan the Sopranos. Did you want to tell him, uh, or I don't know, maybe I should tell him what show we were watching last night when I ordered you that cheeseburger? Sure, let's get a little cultured. We're, we're re-watching the Sopranos. Ooh. And these guys are going to be mob bosses within two weeks. Now, I was kidding, right? I'm always kidding. <laughs> they literally... I swear to God, they're either listening to the show and feeding into it. I think Logan is trying to get on my good side. We got to show you this. Is it up at the top? Impulsive coverage, okay? This is going to be our last bit of the night. You know, um, this is impulsive. Mike talks about OnlyFans, and we're going to see some mafioso stuff, okay? Here we go. This is impulsive with Hey Big Mike and Logan Paul, okay? There's my buddy Logan, who is, you know what? He's clean. He's nice. He's fit. They did a sperm challenge. They had a sperm doctor coming the other day, and they tested all their sperm to see how many swimming sperm each one had. Mike only has 10% sperm. Logan Paul had about 70% sperm. Logan Paul has 193 swimmers. Big Mike only had 21 thousand <laughs> big mike no, really they had a sperm test did they all came in a cup and they said let's see who's more fertile logan paul had 193 million big mike had 21 so i'm going with logan paul he's clean he's funny he's doing it all i am a fan uh <laughs> so let's see what happens on today's impulsive we're gonna go to 40 seconds in okay and uh this first <laughs> time code is going to be oh my god about this soprano stuff watch this my words have been marked which is funny because my full name my maiden name is schneider people don't know this about me and my real name is marcus schneider i'm like i work for a temple and i i carry all these books and i do this work for the temple under the name marcus schneider here it is. Listen to this shit. You're going to love it. Thank you, but if not, I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I ain't got no words for you. <laughs> but yeah, dude, we, we discovered in the past. So we shoot our podcasts on Mondays and Wednesdays. So it gives us a lot of time to collect material. Like we all have between Wednesday and Sunday or the Monday today that we're shooting the podcast. We all have time to learn about each other in life and come up with questions and write them down with our notes. Subject matter to talk about. And I don't know what happened last week. I... I put a toothpick in my mouth because, you know, there's something in my teeth and I kept it in for longer than I probably should have. And I trans I transform into a fucking dickhead, like an Italian mob boss. It wasn't what the first the time fuck? that- What the fuck? I transformed into an Italian mob boss. It's only taken one week. I said last week, they said, we're watching The Sopranos. I said, give it a week. There'll be Italian mob- And he's literally like, that's even worse than I- I think I said that same thing. So he decided that he's going to start using toothpicks and talking to people with a toothpick. And he's turned it. Can I have a hit of that bongo? Mikey, shmi, shmi. You want to sure. take a shmi break with me, you potheads at home? How funny is that? I got more. That happened way faster than I thought it was going to. Also, I'm I thought we you. were going to be picking out subtle mob manners. Listen, <laughs> if anything on. more happens with this, I'm going to be like the leader of VidCon soon. <laughs> I'm taking a shmi break. Let me just show you this. Ah! All right. You want to have a hit with me? All right, listen to this. He's a mob boss now. Check this out. Transform into a fucking dickhead, like an Italian mob boss. It wasn't the first time that you've done it or that <clears throat> you've gone into that mode. It was just the first time that I think I truly noticed what it does to you because normally he would be like, I mean, what, what does he want? Like, can we talk about it? But this time he would just say, <laughs> you know what I say? <laughs> Fuck that guy! Wow! I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, yo, you tell, you tell Tony he's sleeping with the fishes. He would say that <laughs> in a normal <laughs> conversation about like uh, 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 a a a panning error with the camera. You tell him he sleeps with the fucking fishes. Yo, it's, it's it's because it's like uh, it makes me feel hard, way hard. Like, dude, when when women put on 
uh, sexy dress. You know, push it makes him feel push, push, up push up bra, bra makes him feel sexy. To me. You put on a yeah, loop. look, they're saying this is crazy. I literally, we got to get the clip. People aren't going <laughs> to believe this. There are a couple things that really get uh, stupid guys. Mob stuff. Like if a guy watches mob movies, he starts going, "Yes, I am also a very important man." If a guy goes to a Fast and Furious movie on his way home in the car, he's gone. <laughs> With his automatic car, I mean, it really is ridiculous when a guy starts trying to live out that movie fantasy, and guys find themselves doing it all the time. David, the German videographer, is filming okay, today. Is that it? All right, I think that's it. I'm sorry. Oh my God, Big Mike, you look horrible. And see if they start talking like Sopranos guys in the hey, next couple of episodes. No, they did. I feel like in this episode, they I already know, have started. Yeah, Logan starts talking like a crime boss later in the show. They're so susceptible to male alpha role models from film and TV. I know. We how how, how did said. I predict they're going to turn into mob bosses and then they're saying that? That's crazy. That's not been done. How do you feel? You want to get into character. So for some reason, I have a toothpick in my mouth. Look, they're going uh, nuts. I don't know. I, I turn into a, a mob boss. It's just his foot. His <laughs> foot starts to tap too when he has the when he has the toothpick, and he's like. And then I said to the fucking guy, "Cause like, I'm, I'm no like, patience. Dude, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Because because normally I have him as like if it's me and him having a conversation with someone we need to have a, 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 a painful or or a serious conversation with. He's my partner in the conversation. Lately, he's become some sort of fucking enemy. He's I'm like, the, I'm the op. I'm the he's op. He's the op. Whoa. And he's like, you know what I say? Fuck that fucking guy. Yeah. I'm like, to relax. So what's been going on? We've been doing stuff around the house. We're watching it? some new there pro. So look at that. Fuck that fucking guy. Big Mike, take care of him. And he's like, uh, I thought we were equal friends. You're the boss now? Man, this sucks. Yeah, he's the boss. That's why you live in the spare closet on the floor. Remember that? Mike is dating Lana Del Rey. She has had 80 huge potatoes shoved in her mouth. Her breath reeks. Of stale C. I won't even say that word. It's so grody. And uh, he's been getting a lot of hate for being a, what's called a simpleton. This is 2530. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of a little fucked up. Nah. Let's see what he says. It's going to be nuts. The platform first. You can't expect people to just jump onto something they don't know what they're getting. Unless it's OnlyFans. <gasps> Dude will jump on OnlyFans without any idea. It doesn't matter. 10 don't bucks you know a month. Getting? You got an idea. <laughs> You sign up for a girl's OnlyFans account, you don't really under, you don't know what you're gonna get. Somebody, it doesn't show. It doesn't we're show. Losing you. a lot of real ones to OnlyFans. Somebody text me. Oh, yeah. A lot, lot of dignity is going out the window this quarantine. Somebody last night text me a shot from OnlyFans, and I was like, "Wow, I did not know that you would be on Only, like looking on OnlyFans." He's like, "Of course." <laughs> what are your boys? Not gonna say, not gonna say the name. I, I have this fantasy where that <laughs> has assessed me as a problem, and they need to take me out. Like he'll do That's it without. Seriously, the vibe I get yeah, from him. He'll do it without even consulting Logan. Like he's like, we need to have a meeting, and Logan's like, should I come? He's like, no. And then he has a meeting with all these other guys, and he's like, we need to do something about Michael David. We'll be able this to is deal. a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is Logan's manager again. Another guy who saw what Logan was doing and weaseled his way into his life by complimenting Logan. That's really all you need to do. And now he's here. This is a 50-year-old guy. This is Sal Berenstein from Homeland. He's dyed his hair brown and put on a V-neck and a man bun. And Logan thinks he's just some hipster from Silver Lake. This is a suit. He works for the CIA. <laughs> the Bloods and the Crips and the KKK. So don't trust this guy. He's already coming up with a plan to execute me. Sal Berenstein is way nicer. Yeah, he is. Would be on all, like looking Seriously. on OnlyFans. He's like, of course. <laughs> what are your boys? Not gonna, say, not gonna say the name. I just what are your boys? Know, just somebody. No more. All right. Uh, let's see what happens here. Just gonna tell you that that that, that girl's on OnlyFans. And I was Only like, fans? and I was, and I was, I said, I feel so bad because she was just this innocent girl when we met her, and it just went the wrong way. Well, I don't. Is it the <laughs> what she what she doing on OnlyFans? Like, this semi. was just a nude. This was just like a nude picture. Oh, she's doing nude shit. This was a nude picture. Really? I, I, think I mean, at gonna, one point, <laughs> I think you're gonna end up in a place in the next I, you know three what? to five years where Listen. every valid option for wifedom has an OnlyFans account. I think we're gonna get to a place in three to five years. Listen to this. Cope. Have you heard this term? 
I love, I always despise internet terms. I hate sheep. And while internet terms are great, I hate when people adopt them within seconds. So for instance, uh, you know, what was a good simp was adopted, boom, like that. And you can't stop hearing about it. What's another internet term? And you can shout these out in the chat. A new term or an old term reused for new internet age. And then boom, everyone's saying it. I shouldn't snap that loud. I might go to a Marshall Rugg gallery ad. <laughs> but uh, I don't like that. I go, I don't like how people just boom. I'm going to be like everybody else like that instantly. So I go out of my way to try to avoid these words. You know, boomers, one of them. One guy said boomer, and then the whole internet's like, we must say boomer or we are boomers. I have fear. It's hard to avoid these It terms. is. Well, the new one is cope. And it, listen, these all make sense, and they have their place, but you got to stop yourself because do you really want to do that? Uh, cope is now used to, like, rationalize. It is a good word because I always try to find it for comedians or comedian fans, rather. I go, they're always trying to like rationalize why, blah, blah, blah. And it's a long-winded sentence, but what I really should be saying is, man, nice cope. Nice cope. So this is the new one. And these guys will be like, that's not new. It's two and a half weeks old. <laughs> Great. Yeah, sorry. I don't do Discord. Um, man, I'm being really insulting to a lot of people. Today, huh? <laughs> You're on well, a I'm tear. sick of it. They need to hear this. You know, everyone else panders to these audiences. And then they become shit. So you know what? You didn't tune in to me because of that. You don't want me to just agree with everything you think, right? But it's don't true. get mad at me. I'm just telling you these things. So cope is the new one. And this is what Big Mike does. He's coping. He's copacetic. You just don't get it. You learn to respect it. Your mind is copacetic. You just can't accept it. And just remember that? So he has been bringing up, you know, his wife is a porn star, one of the, and it's not just a porn star. It's not like she just went, Ugh. I mean, I've seen incest porn that is like less degrading than the shit Lana Rhodes has done. A 40 person gangbang is serious trouble. <laughs> Think about that. The last time I saw 40 fellas was when I was in Baltimore Giving tips to the police on who they should lock up. Guys are standing in line, go, gotta keep it hard. And they're doing this. Standing in line, waiting their turn to fuck a woman, and they're getting come all over each other. They don't care, they're animals. That's not the same as taking a nude snapshot. <laughs> going, okay, uh, your Lana Rhodes has been involved in some deep, deep trouble. Do, do, do. Type in this. Hold on. I'm going to get Deep Trouble by Bart Simpson. Deep Trouble. All right. <laughs> 40 fellas is tough, man. 40. That's like Indianapolis shit. That's scary Indiana. All right. Those are factory boys. 40 fellas sticking it in your wife. And these people are right off the streets. You know, I'd rather you go to Bali and get. <laughs> so. The cope is, dude, in three to five years, like, every woman is going to have OnlyFans. Didn't he say that last week? And Luke goes, dude, shut the fuck up. That's no. what we're about to watch. Oh, we're watching that. Check this out. Every valid option for wifedom has an OnlyFans account. Because the amount of money girls are making on that fucking shit it is, is, it's, it it's is insane. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars a week. A week. So like, why girls, hot girls see that and they say, "I don't, I don't need no man. I need only fans." It's like, oh, <laughs> I love that. You're doing the company's slogan. I don't need no man. I, I need, need only fans. I don't need no man. I have only fans. <laughs> Dude, that is simplicity at its finest. And he's so transparent. Like, how does he even allow himself to be this transparent? Do you want to hear that again? Like, the reason they got into this conversation is because Logan and that uh, manager guy were talking about some girl they know that just started doing it, and they were surprised. And they're yeah. like, how did she degrade herself? And Mike's like, to be fair. To be fair. not even degrading Responsive. Responsiveness. <laughs> um, he never even said that. Listen. 
You can't be coming up with slogans for companies. All right, are you going to invoice them? I don't need a man. I have only fans. <laughs> Do you understand the lengths you're going to defend this disgustingness? Uh, here we go. Yes, Mike is balding. They call him the thinning. <sighs> you know, I did a movie that was inspired by you. What's it called? The Thinning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back. This is deep, deep trouble. He is simping. He is coping. All the words Jesse P.S. has said in the last month. Listen to this. Girls, hot girls, see that and they say, "I don't, I don't need no man. I need only fans." It's like a little rhyme. <laughs> like, yeah, Yo, my 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 brother's yeah. about to Yikes. fucking Jake Jake. <laughs> Jake I don't Ball. know, dude. He's getting pretty sexual with Julia. Oh my it's only god! A of time before they're smacking cheeks on Cam. Wow! Well, before he has an OnlyFans, bro. Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> I texted that girl <laughs> way back when. I'm, I'm looking at the date here. Yes, July. You tell me where to go I remember this because you don't give many. Because remember, you what said time we could it? skip ahead. Twenty-seven thirty. Oh, playing then. Okay, we're gonna hear this now. I am getting so sick. Same. I feel like Shane Gillis thirty minutes into a podcast. Sick and tired. <laughs> Just kidding. What time is it here? Oh, we've only been doing it for four hours and thirty-three minutes. Well, Shane Gillis hasn't does can't even stay up for that long during the day. Four hours and thirty-three minutes? No, no, no. He stays up for two hours, then sleeps for eight hours, then another two. Here we go. There's more. She could do whatever she wants with her body, but at what point do you like uh, question the dignity of your of your soul? It's oh just my God! Tricky. Wow, why so would you say talking about some other girl? That I they know, just but found it's like about. Mike's girlfriend <laughs> is worse than anyone who's submitted to only anyone who's opened an OnlyFans account. That is nothing. Yeah. That is like a children's photo with their dad at church compared to what Lana Rhodes has done. And they're remember, just we're not against Lana Rhodes because she went, <laughs> oh my breast. We're against Lana Rhodes because she's done the nasty. <laughs> Lana Rhodes basically ding dong to a prison. Bing bong. Hi, this is the Indiana Indianapolis State Penitentiary. May you state your business. Hi, I'm Lana Rhodes. I'd like to suck off all the inmates. Sure, come on in. She had a wow. prison gangbang with 32,000 prisoners in an all penitentiary in Harlem. I'm not kidding. That's trouble. <laughs> do, do, do. Deep, deep trouble. They call her the tunnel. Yes, the escape route. All right, let's hear what happens here. <laughs> because as soon as you go down that route, there See, ain't no going escape back, route. and you've really <laughs> limited yourself and the people you can work with. I know oh, girls shit. who won't won't do, won't interact with girls who have only fans and do pornographic sexual yeah, but if you content. yeah but if you offer wait those a minute here you're actually talking about my girl if you think only fans accounts are bad what do you see the accounts my girlfriend's on stuff like uh xhamster.com l segundo dot sludge that's a bad site I mean, if your girlfriend is on those animated GIF ads on the side of Pornhub, you're in bad trouble. <laughs> you know, if your girlfriend is in a 132-bit resolution coming through as an animated GIF showing you that dick pills work, you're a bad person. Here. Same girls, the money that won't interact with OnlyFans girls, they'd be like, write the check. And they start taking their clothes. No, no, don't no, you think no. Everybody, no, everybody, no, no, no. everybody says it's this true. until you write not the true. fucking not check. Not, not true. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I think. Dude, I think, every, I'll bet you. You like, every, every woman is like, I would never do porn until you write the check. Yeah, okay. So this is the, some make believe scenario. Like, if there was a gun to your head and they're like, either fuck your mom or get $10 million, which would you choose? Yeah, okay. But that's not what women are presented with. They're presented with, would you like to make $4,100 tops? I know. Is it even you know true what I mean? that every... No, it's like of course Lana's not. It's like making a lot of money. Yeah, sure, well, Lana did the unthinkable. <laughs> I mean, believe me, Alana has fucked neighborhoods that... Whole neighborhoods, whole theme parks. Lana has gone down to homeless shelters. And said, I would like to uh, donate 
today? And they go, oh, well, I don't see you don't have any food. And she goes, <laughs> no, I'd like to. And then you could fill in the rest. And then she goes from homeless person to homeless person to homeless person to homeless. That would be nice. Homeless Shelter Fuckfest by Lana Rhodes. Only on DVD at the sickest, grossest porn shop in town. Get that DVD, bring it home. Watch somebody get fucked by 32,100 people. You know? Uh, so <laughs> let's hear Logan's cope. Listen to this. I'm not even you. fucking remote. I'm telling you. I think, I think. I'll bet you. you. Like I said, about, about, like I, don't it? you think they would do it? Like I said, we'll be back. Like I said a few minutes ago, you bucks. will continue to I'll see, you will continue to see a trend of I girls. I guarantee you. Shut up for a second. Relax. Oh, he mad. Shut up for a second. Let me speak. And if anyone says that, they're fuming. Okay. And why are they like needling him so hard on this topic? Well, they because must it's be gross. Really annoyed. No, because they're regular and he's crazy. They even forget they're so regular. And by regular, I mean, listen, only if you know someone that does OnlyFans, call the police. They're crazy and they're going to commit a crime. Um, they even forget. That's how normal they are. They forget Mike's dating Lana Rhodes. They're not needling him. They're going, uh, Dude, imagine if your girlfriend did OnlyFans. That would be fucked. And then Mike's like, wait, wait, hold on. And they're like, oh, shit. I <laughs> yeah, forgot. That's true. Like, they forget because who would even do that? Hold on. I'm going to take one of these blue elixirs. I hate those ones. They always get stuck in my throat. Ew. Your mustache does hold a lot of water. Yes. Uh, every piece of merch has one of my mustache hairs hidden inside the threads of your shirt. You're Fuck. all part of me now. All right, listen to this. They're all bashing OnlyFans, and Mike's like, wait, hold up a minute. Wait, shut the fuck up. Let me talk. Like, what I, said, we'll be back. Like, like I said a few minutes ago, you will, you will continue to see, you will continue to see a trend of I girls. I guarantee you shut up the for Danny a second. Won't won't do do that. That. You will continue to continue to see a trend over the next three years, five years until, until the model changes of girls who would never do OnlyFans doing OnlyFans. I assure you that. Hold that on, hold girl, on. Who, who's, saying, that, who's saying it? That though? girl, that girl we're talking about right now that probably at some point said, I'll never do OnlyFans. The thing is, is when you start seeing that money, Come in. The whole world is changing right now. Oh, everybody! Women are looking at themselves differently, their own sexuality differently. Oh it's my. becoming more and more acceptable to pose nude. It's becoming more and more acceptable to touch yourself online. If you ever wanted to know what the term "cope" was, look it up. Urban Dictionary just starts playing this fucking this video clip. Rationalization. This is crazy, man. But why doesn't he like? There's nothing wrong with just admitting that you love Lana. It's like he's only making this huge, big deal yeah, because he's uncomfortable with the idea. And by the way, loving Lana is a dead end, man. That girl is <laughs> fucking nuts. Stay away from Lana Rhodes. She's got a fake butt. How disgusting is that? You it's inject not fair. it. You inject. It's not. No, no, no. Don't say that. It doesn't look good. We could all see what a fake butt looks like compared to a nice rump. It looks disgusting. She looks like a short, fat pooper. You know, and by the way, I stumbled upon her on some of these porn sites. You did? Yeah. Turned it off. Uh-uh. Didn't look. <laughs> uh, check this out. Differently, it's becoming more and more acceptable to pose nude. It's becoming more and more acceptable to touch yourself online. The, the, <laughs> wait, the wait, 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 These are facts. These are not Wait, no, 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 no. Stop. Facts. Stop. Stop. Wait, you, you threw act? that in? It's being more and more acceptable to be nude online. It's being more acceptable to touch yourself. Wait, no. I didn't hear that. To touch yourself <laughs> online. So now they're not just posing topless. They're going to be touching themselves. Why did he have to ask? It's that? not porn. It's only fans. That's crazy. I've never heard anything like that. And then he goes, facts. Listen, the whole world is changing right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Women are looking at themselves differently, their own sexuality differently. It's becoming more and more acceptable to pose nude. It's becoming more and more acceptable to touch yourself okay. online. The the the. Would you accept if I started touching myself online? The queen. <laughs> it's not more and more acceptable to touch yourself online. You should start a uh, O F. All right, let's hear this one more time to pose nude it's becoming more and more acceptable to touch yourself online the, the the industries are crossing over these are facts these are not me I making your opinion. I yeah. your opinion. Yeah. statements these are facts I do hear uh, that. and so as you, you continue hear to that? see it become the Look at norm Logan. 
for your... This is not what Logan wants. He wants to be Captain America, not... Um, what, what would you say? What would be a good one? What's the opposite of Captain America? Dennis Hogg? Captain Mexico? Yeah, you get it. You to take your clothes off. You save yeah, yourself. Ca they're okay. Captain Mexico. That's actually funny. Hey, hey, hey. My shield is just one peso. Ding, 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 ding. Imagine that. He's like Captain. You know, Captain America's got the shield, right? Of course. Captain Mexico has just a peso. I don't know how big that is. I'm going to say the size of a nickel, and that's his shield. And when they shoot bullets at him, he's got a. He's very speedy. Here we are. Okay, I can either go and make 100K this year working be working a modeling gig for some company, or I can go make 100K tomorrow on OnlyFans. I'm just saying, m some people say money's the root of all, people, uh, of all evil. Some people say money styles everything. Money has an effect on people. Wow. A massive effect on nice. people. And it'll get people to do Mass things that they wouldn't the normally game. do. But I still believe I could find those girls that he said that won't do it. And yeah. never would. Yeah. Those exist too. Oh, yeah. I, think, I think you're both right. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you guys well, think that's what Big Mike's sexual? arguing against. Yeah, Big Mike thinks that every girl in the world is ready to get stuffed. Yes. Like a Boston Market uh, family meal. It's just uh, ridiculous to say. And then he's like, actually, I bet I could find a girl who wouldn't do it. And Big Mike's like, facts. Yeah, I bet there's one or two. <laughs> Have you met most people? They're, you know... Well, literally the only girls he hangs out with are girls that do porn. I know, it's so insane. It's like it. he's really, he really thinks that every girl is just a porn star complete whore. Like, have you ever met, like, a woman who works at the bank? She's not doing this. What about all the old ladies out there? They're not doing it. I mean, most people would never do that. Do it. And yeah, never would. Yeah, Those I'm exist, sure. too. Oh, you, yeah, you, I, think, I think you're both right. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you guys think online sexuality is helping or hurting society? It's a weighted question. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a whole it's, show it's, question. It's, it's a yeah, it's a it's a weighted question Helping because 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 I like I like I like the idea of people embracing their body, right? It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the the thing that their soul lives in, which is cool. It's cool to, be, it's to see people accepting themselves, and I, I love the idea of humans being open and accepting and proud but, of like what they have. But, should should that be the the basis of their shtick? But um, oh, wow. I also don't know. I don't know if it's healthy. Like some things are sacred to mm -hmm. me. Like I don't know if it's healthy. Some things are sacred. You hear that, Big Mike? Not so, facts. Oh fuck, man! Negative facts. Fiction. Fiction. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! How fucking funny is that? Fiction. <laughs> Fiction. Oh my god! That rules. If you're gonna say facts, you have to say fiction, right? Fiction. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say it is desperate and sleazy. Oh, fiction. <laughs> that is hilarious. Thanks. Look at that guy laying there. I also don't know. I don't know if it's healthy. Like, some things are <laughs> sacred. To mm -hmm. me, like, I'd like to consider, like, my wife's body sacred. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd Private safety. Oh, look at yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I hear you. Yeah, whatever. My wife, I don't know, like, jerking off another dude with a fleshlight on her OnlyFans. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't want that. Yeah. And that's but it's something that Lana are... and Mike were actually discussing yes. this week, so that was a direct diss. And Big Mike is like, dude, do you think they're like, I should come on the OnlyFans, but wear like a, some sort of like squirrel mask so they don't know it's me? I could show my uh, winky dank. And off another dude with a fleshlight <laughs> on her OnlyFans. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want that. Yeah. But it's different strokes for different folks, obviously. Oh, like yeah, everybody takes everybody takes everything differently. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's so it's totally no personalized. Yeah. 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 They're laughing at you. It, no, it is right now. Like, it is right now. Great. I mean, like, look at it. Like Kanye, we've seen Kim get fucked by another man, oh, and Kanye has he, he brags he brags about it. Billionaire, he thinks he thinks billionaire, dope. billionaire Kanye has not has has said, "Yo, that was an accident. This is a cope." Billionaire Kanye has done it. Yeah, and that was the worst completely part of his life. Completely different, also completely yeah, different course. scenarios. Well, this this woman is good enough for me. Having everyone seen that, yeah. 
You know, I mean, and so it's, it really depends on, on the opinion. And like I said, as more and more girls continue, as more, more and more girls from the top of our world continue to do porn, continue to do OnlyFans, when it comes time to wife a girl up, there's a good <laughs> chance you're wifing up a girl that has done OnlyFans. No, that's <laughs> not true. Look at Logan. No well, think about it. I mean, you're not talking to us. No, yes. but I'm just saying. Oh! Love See how guy. Logan's maturing? <laughs> Logan's like, <laughs> No way! Mike, come on! And look at this is sums it up perfectly. Look at Mike. What? And look, it's like, ah, you're so stupid! <laughs> I hired you as my advisor? What was I thinking? And it comes time to wife a girl up, there's a good <laughs> chance you're wifing up a girl that has done OnlyFans or done porn. <laughs> there's no way. Well, think yeah. about it. I mean, <laughs> you're talking, talking to us. No, yes. but I'm wow. just saying. I'm just, my, oh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. From this industry. Okay, okay. Yeah, in this industry. In this industry, in this industry yeah. But I think that's completely unrelatable. A lot of people are not Kanye West, and a lot of people will not marry Kim Kardashian you would be, type women. You would be surprised. <laughs> Thank you. How many Kardashians No, 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 no. Not that. You would be surprised at the number of girls who are leaving their job at Wendy's or leaving their job at, at Wendy's. Uh, you know, Johnson & Johnson and going home and turning their camera on right now. It is a massive mm -hmm. global how many thing. People, how many people are there? <laughs> How, how, I'm not millions tons. and millions and millions of people. So that's, only between that's only three between, million people. Between OnlyFans, between stripping on Twitch, between making you know, or, or whatever you do on stripping Twitch. Stripping on Twitch. They don't even allow cleavage anymore. <laughs> what? Stripping on Twitch. They'll ban you if you show uh, your elbow. Uh, wow. Have you ever look at this fucking screenshot too? <laughs> uh, stripping on Twitch. Millions and millions and millions of girls are doing this. You can't even get teachers anymore. There's a shortage of substitute teachers because they're all fingering themselves with the pink vibrator that Chatterbait sends out. It's a free <laughs> gift along with three of free adult DVDs. This is crazy. Yes, he's babbling LOL. You got it. And they're all like, uh, look at all their faces. Oh, uh, what? And also, this why, is the stupidest thing you've ever said. Why would you bring up Wendy's employees are leaving their jobs? Dude, you? Wendy's employees are leaving. That's why the price of the Baconator is seven sixty five compared to six seventy five <laughs> from last year. Why would anyone want? To what are you to talking Wendy's about? Employee? The Wendy's employees are getting naked. That's not good. That's bad. People. Between OnlyFans, between stripping on Twitch, between making, you know, or, or whatever you do on Twitch, making Pornhub <laughs> content. This is crazy. There are millions and millions and millions you of girls. And by the million. way, and by the way, the saddest, they're not the saddest, but the most important part of it is it's also a lot of the hottest girls. It's the girls no. that are oh. able to do that stuff mm -hmm. because nobody, because those are the girls that feel confident enough in their body and they're looking to do but it. Back to his question. And like, I think there's a lot of them that are self judging themselves and then go get plastic surgery or you know surgeries on their face and all that stuff to be like this certain look and i think that's not good right people are going to be judged it, 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 am it, i it, getting the right enough works, money why it, am i not making as much as that person why do i have as many only fans as them it could lead to a very sad oh. sad pit of despair like this i felt you hear that mike a sad pit of despair Pause for like one minute so I can go to the bathroom and I'll be really. Gotta nasty. go to the bathroom, Ben. What are you doing in there? Sorry, You're back. I don't want to miss a second of Red Bar. That was the fastest crap, <laughs> it wasn't crap. in history. Here we go. Uh, let's see what happens here with Big Mike and Logaria. Quarantine is changing a lot of humans' regular behavior. Like, uh. Forcefully. What? Forcefully changing. Is that it for this part? How is quarantine for? Wait, it's um, not, it's, it's a concept. Okay. If you don't have any money, you don't have anything to do, you need to find a way to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, there, there oh, people yeah. change it up. Yeah, me. I'm not saying. Yeah, dude, there are people doing all kinds still of stuff. Choices. I wouldn't say, I mean, I wouldn't yo, say forcefully. And, and also, like, a, like, whether it's quarantine or something else, I mean, if it's. If it's OnlyFans content for girls, it might be something on the guy's side, too. Everybody at the what? end of the day is pimping themselves out for something. What? Whether it's through <laughs> online content and doing everything for views or whether it's taking your clothes off for OnlyFans. Everybody's neglecting someone, neglecting a family member to do something for money. I think <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. This is horrible. Everyone's neglecting a family member to do something for money. Interesting. <laughs> 
I'm sure there are a lot of people that concept would uh, uh, terrify them if they heard that. This is crazy. Look at Logan's face. Oh, my God. What do I do? How do I get this guy out of my house? He's worse than Brother Jake. <laughs> Everybody's neglecting someone, neglecting a family member to do something for money. What? I think we're all sitting here today underestimating the guy. power of the Wait, dollar. Wait, what? And, and, and obviously, I'm in a relationship with someone, so it hits close to home for me. But I would never... I have no judgment to pass. I'm not saying you guys are judging either, but I have no judgment to pass on anyone doing anything to make a living in this world. What oh. if this is we where make we are. A living it's, it's, off of making fun of you. Oh then yeah, you I thought we're a bunch of fucking losers. I have no judgment on anyone who's making a living to make it in this world. <laughs> you should start a website called Only Enemies, <laughs> where you make fun of me. Do I know what the hell I'm saying anymore? <laughs> My nose is a schlong. Facts. Facts. Come out, come out, wherever you are, you little facts. Holly, holly, oxen free. Oh my god, <laughs> man. Do we have enough fireworks to protect ourselves from all these guys? We're making a lot of enemies lately. I know. It's, like, it's kind of scary if yeah. you stop and think about it. Well, I've got a ton of black cats. Come at me. You're going to get a black cat thrown at you. And <laughs> uh, believe it or not, you will jump. You don't know how it's, if that's going to burn or not. It could scare you. Here we go. Let's hear some more. <laughs> Pass on anyone doing anything to make a living in this world. No. This is where we are. It's it's it, like we can say what we want about it, but mm -hmm. the times are right now dictating to us that nudity has been completely desensitized. Yeah, they're saying Big Mike has the same powers as Slender Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show up by a tree and then I'll pop out right in front of a reservoir. You you don't know what's going to happen in these woods. We should make a game like Slender Man, but it's Big Mike popping out and going Hey, have you considered joining OnlyFans? And you're like, fuck! Ah, run! He's trying to set us up! He's selling hoodies! A lot of ways, porn is completely accepted. Completely accepted. C complete crossover between porn and YouTube oh or the movie or the industry. What? They've got porn stars uh, walking like, the runway. No, only not, you and Jake. Videos. Literally only you and Jake Paul are doing this. No one else. <laughs> Dude, like, porn stars have completely crossed over to YouTube. Everyone loves them. No, you hang out with Riley Reed, Lana Rhodes, and Jake is dating Julia Rose. That's it. Everyone else is like, those people are sick. Those people have AIDS. Riley Reed has AIDS. You know, I hate to use AIDS as an insult, but this is a diagnosis. Well, I think that Riley, like, regrets doing porn. Or, yeah. sorry, not Riley. Uh, oh. Lana regrets doing porn, and she probably doesn't want Big Mike, like, talking about this so much and bringing Listen, this if you regret doing porn, then way. call porn. You know what? I don't buy it. Because Lana Rhodes is still making money off all those tapes. If you regret doing porn, call up Pornhub, call up X Videos, say, take those videos down, or I'm suing you. Don't accept one more check from the porno business from your views. She loves it. You're only mm -hmm. retired because you got enough money and you're lazy. <laughs> That's it. She's not retired. She would be still doing porn if she needed cash, but she's got the Lamborghini now and, uh, you know, 400 grand in the bank. And she thinks I'm set for life. It's 400 grand, please. Yeah, that's the only reason she's retired. It's because she's made too much money. Porn and YouTube or the movie or the industry, they've got porn stars uh, walking the runways for high fashion now. It's what? happening. We can sit here and we can talk about that. it. We can wow, did you see that shot? <laughs> it's happening. Face. Everyone's in porn. We cross over between porn and YouTube or the movie or the industry. They've got porn stars uh, walking the runways for high fashion now. It's happening. We can Uh. <laughs> so we like got to do something about you now like you're becoming a like a problem for the house <laughs> look at these guys they've stopped listening to this conversation and started making plans on how to take care of mike how to get him out of here sit here and we can talk about it we can be behind on the times but at the end of the day it's happening mm -hmm. and oh. so as you as that continues to happen more and more girls will continue to get nude for for a dollar Mm. That's just the fact. Will you be upset if you have a daughter and she gets nude for a dollar? Watch this. But in, imagine this: in tw in twenty years, when it's time for that to do so, 
the, the first lady of the United States might be doing it. And by the way, she, <laughs> the first lady of the United uh, States. Uh, la, la, la. The first lady of the United States will have an OnlyFans. Trust me on this. Because why? The first lady of the United States is not going to be your daughter. Right now in this year, the first lady of the United States has already done it. Oh, shit. And so imagine yeah, that. We're talking it. 20 years she from now. She did Playboy? Yeah, she did nude, nude, uh, nude modeling. I mean, so it's like... It's That's like, not the same as having these OnlyFans or doing porn. It's not the same. Mike tries to round up every... Dude, we came out of our mom's naked. That's the same as OnlyFans. We were naked in the shower last night. That's OnlyFans. <laughs> no, Mike. Being naked isn't the same as having an OnlyFans. And these women, you know, I saw some Instagram models spouting this the other day. You know, they always have a speech to defend their own insecurities. Instagram models every month during their period will write walls of text on their Instagram stories bitching about how it's their bodies and this has nothing to do with sex and women should be allowed to be naked all day every day and it's like yeah no one's complaining about you being naked the reason it becomes uh, uh, you know a problem is because of the people that it attracts exactly. you run an only fans it's not just you being naked it's 300,000 terrible the worst people in the world all messaging you and jacking off to you and becoming part of your life and being stuck with you i mean it, it literally is the absolute worst thing you could allow somebody you love to do it attracts the wrong crowd it would be like nobody would say uh if your daughter came to you and said dad i want to go to harlem and walk around naked in the ghetto can you give me some gas money he would say, no, that's a bad idea. And you would be like, why? You hate the naked body? Uh, no, you're going to end up in trouble. Deep, deep trouble. And that's where the negative connotation comes from selling your body on the internet to millions of strangers. You're attracting a terrible crowd, a.k.a. you're making a big mistake, a bad decision. Get it? If you were only getting naked at like an eyes wide shut rich people's only party. Yes, there you go. Maybe that would be And better. nobody's like, <laughs> wait, you had sex with your husband behind closed doors? Off with her head! No, it it's because that's safe. The problem with all of this is it's unsafe. You know, even doing this podcast is unsafe. You see the people I attract with this. Imagine the people that you're attracting when you do a 40-person gangbang. Listen to this shit. Now in this year, the First Lady of the United States has already done it. Oh, shit. And so imagine that. We're talking 20 years she from now. She did Playboy? Yeah, she did nude, nude, uh, nude modeling. I mean, so it's like, mm -hmm. it's like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. What? Your Would I be mad Your if daughter. my daughter did Listen, it? took it for money. I mean, oh my God, wait. So yeah, that was the question. Well, okay, Mike, these are great points. Would you be mad if your daughter did it? Classic question. Really uh, uh, boils everything down to a nice condensed paste, a reduction, a nice sauce. Listen to this. This is important. Listen to this part. Would you be okay if your daughter did it? Well, Mike should go, yeah, dude. Liberate the women. Freedom of the people. It's just a butt. It's just a hole. It's just a slit. It's just a tut. But he doesn't. He says this. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't answer the question. What? Your would daughter, I be mad if daughter my daughter, daughter did it? Took it for money. I mean, I guess I guess where I am is, dude, I would prefer that that kind of shit didn't happen. Like, <laughs> I push. I push. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, are you out of your mind? You'd prefer that it didn't happen, huh? Okay. When it's your daughter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. You fucking. Maransky. Dude, I would prefer that that kind of shit didn't happen. Like, I push, I push. I, it, it, but, but, you know. I, but you're about I've to become pushed. a best-selling author, and you, you'll have plenty of money where you don't have to do that, right? Uh, who knows? I push even Lana to not do it. You oh! Know what I'm well, then, well, well, yeah, 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 point moot. <laughs> I even tell Lana she shouldn't do it. It's terrible. Oh, Wait wow. a minute. Uh, <laughs> so that's all it took to unwind his, uh, his whole ideal there. Wow, that's, uh, look at these, <laughs> fucking, look at Logan, Jesus, holy fuck, man, this is like the stupidest shit I've ever heard.
Ah, who knows? I push even Lana to not do it. You know Logan, what I'm saying? Logan, what I mean. and, and Lana Logan, pushes him to do it. Logan in 30 <laughs> years goes, Mike, I just saw your daughter on OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> how no. do you feel? Um, I just subscribed. Here's, here, here's, here's that, that's my, the second question. Okay, now I got to tell you, I subscribed. How, well, now, how, how do you feel, you feel? Be, be, Better. So here's my, here's, <laughs> oh, here's my real yeah, answer. Right. And, I gave, and I gave this answer to someone uh, the other day. This person was talking to me about a problem they were having with their job and they didn't like their job and they also weren't making enough money. And I said, well, yeah. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, yeah, of course you don't like your job. You work in a very toxic industry and it's the same industry that I'm in. And they said, oh. well, why is it toxic? But then, then why do you do it? And I say, cause I'm making fucking bank, bro. Oh, and so I don't mind standing God. under the toxic sunlight as oh. long as it's pumping cash into my account oh my but I god said, you're not yeah. you're not making money and so if my daughter does only fans if she's unfortunately if she's making a shit ton of money i may say yo you found the, the way but if she's a failed only stand only fan oh, star no. that i may treat it a little bit differently like, I, I guess it, oh, not the best if this were joe <laughs> biden at the debates they'd be yelling boo! <laughs> they're yelling boo earns burns all right, this is a terrible big mic, man. Look at his face, too. It's starting to look like a raisin. <laughs> I'm a little tense. I'm a little tight. I'm on a level my, of success. My, my daughter can do whatever she wants. Like, like I, I'm, oh, yeah? I, I truthfully believe, uh, like, if she cho chooses to go down that path, like, damn it, that was one of the available answers. Fuck, I should have said she could do whatever she wants. I know, Logan. Stupid. God, the good so guy again. Yeah. Dude, my daughter could just do whatever she wants, bro. My imaginary daughter right now. I'm 23. <laughs> yeah, she could do whatever she wants, man. Fuck anybody, bro. I would never care. <laughs> <laughs> who, who the fuck am I to, You're to the dad. dissuade her? But what if that's like the most sought after job in, tw in 20 years? Oh, I just want to grow up and be an OnlyFans. No, girl. seriously. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber now. Th I, get, maybe. Uh, maybe. Bro, because we've watched. I, I think over... OnlyFans also is going to get saturated. For, like, uh, not I think. It's going to happen. Right now is the window. Yeah, Here's the window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're one of the first OnlyFans yeah, yeah, yeah. girls. Because imagine, <laughs> imagine you're a dude who is an OnlyFans user, and you subscribe to one girl who's your favorite. Now two is pushing it. Now you're paying 15 bucks a month to, to <laughs> see some girls like naked. Eventually, you're subscribed to 10 people. You're paying $50 or whatever the price 100, is. Yeah, 100, 100 bucks a month. Bro, she's, shit gets expensive. And so I, I, I do believe that this I is the can't wait. That's... I can't wait till that bubble pops. Once these fucking incels figure out, wait a minute, a hundred dollars to see some boobs. What have I done? I'm becoming a book guy. I'm into writing now. I can't wait till these whores are out on the floor. What are they gonna do when the OnlyFans bubble? Pops? I mean, it's pretty mean to the. Like a year and a half ago, there was girls who were just like cam girls as their job. Yeah. And now all of these this other is mean. girls yeah. are swooping into their industry. And, and it's like, it up. please, if you're going to do this stuff, do porn because porn is lacking because of this. You know, I, I keep tuning into these porn sites going, where are all the dare dorm party porns? You know, you used to <laughs> tune in five years ago. You'd go to a website and type in dorm. It'd be 16 great looking kids having the time of their life in a dorm having a party that's your favorite all fucking each other now you go to Pornhub and it's like some mexican woman jerking off her brother with the grandpa looking from dixie's trailer park and you're going what's going on oh well i'll tell you what's going on all the hot chicks just show their butts on instagram for money they don't need to do porn well so, maybe you shouldn't be so mean to lana she's not gonna want to do it eh. <laughs> so uh we really need stop it stop paying for boobs Stop paying for butts. Stop giving these women unless they're taking it up the keister. Don't give them a dime. Uh, how happy are you guys that I decided to start watching Logan Paul stuff? I remember when I started doing that, people rolled their eyes. They made fun. Oh, he's throwing it all away. Used to be <laughs> cool. He used to make fun of Anthony Cumia. Now all he cares about is Logan Paul. Well, look at what joy this has brought us. All thanks to me. Mike brings me a lot of joy. All right. Hey, it's the worst part of the show. The ending. Grandpa ending. Hey, I want to thank everybody for listening to the glorious Red Bar. We hope you had a great time today. That's it. I did. We hope we made your day. Good night.
Lucia. Mike makes your day. Good night. He brings you the world, the stars, and the songs. Me Mike makes your day. Thank you. He does what you'd like to. I take you along. Right. Mike's got the action. Mike's got the stars. Good night, everybody. Mike's going places here and there, near and far. Mike makes it come alive wherever you are. Me makes your day. He's part of the action. He's where you belong. Thank you. Mike. Good night, everybody. Makes your day. He shines with the stars and he takes you along. Another hit show, Jules.